Hello Virgo, welcome to another reading. This is gonna be a reading all about how your person is thinking or feeling about you currently. Um, as always, it's meant to be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Virgo 100%. Uh, take what resonates and applies to your situation. All right, so let's get into this. Spirits, angels, gods, universal messages, please, for Virgo regarding love. What are their secret feelings or thoughts regarding Virgo or this connection? Their secret thoughts or feelings regarding Virgo or this connection spirit, the person that Virgo is dealing with at this time. What are their secret thoughts or feelings? We got Eight of Cups. Maybe this person walked away from you, Virgo. Five of Cups reverse and regrets it. Should the Five of Cups reverse. They want to recover what was lost or they're not over the past. We'll clarify to see. What are their secret thoughts or feelings towards Virgo? Ten of Wands. This is a burden for your person. Your person is weighed down by something that has to do with this connection. And I have a feeling it's probably guilt or regret here. Bottom of the deck, Four of Pentacles. I feel like they've held back or kept this to themselves, have been holding on to this in some way. <coughs> Excuse me. What else can you tell me? What else can you tell me for Virgo? What is this person thinking or feeling when it comes to Virgo or this connection spirit? Thinking or feeling. Details, details. So they're focused on something. Um, they're looking at something very closely here. Magic stream at the bottom. What's this magic stream about? Number 18. Everything's connected through the universal flow of consciousness. So everything's connected, okay? I feel like your person's having some sort of awareness when it comes to a situation with you. They're starting to connect the dots about this situation is what I'm picking up here. I was only supposed to get two cards for you, so I'm just gonna make a little bit of room for this card here. All right, so let's get some clarity on what they're thinking or feeling here. Tell me more, Spirit, about what this person is secretly thinking or feeling when it comes to Virgo or this connection. There you are, the Hermit card. Tell me about this Eight of Cups with this Five of Cups reverse. For some reason I see it together. It's like a departure was something that either you're not over, they're not over, um, or that you regret here. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups with this Five of Cups. Reverse. Strength card, Leo energy here. Nine of Cups. This person walked away, I feel, looking for something else. Can I get one more, please? Hmm. The moon reversed. I feel like this person, um, they were once very, what the? 
Hold on. Are you freaking kidding me? Sorry guys, my dog. He likes to be like right under my chair and I guess he got stuck. Seriously, Leon? Okay, back to scheduled programming. So nine of wands, seven of wands reversed. So they're both reversed. Okay, so at one point someone here was guarded, res resisting something here, maybe not having um, a lot of trust. You know what else I'm seeing here? It's like someone's giving up or trying not to give up with the strength card. Because these two cards upright is someone that's not giving up, even though it's difficult, even though there's opposition, even though they've been through a lot. So it's reversed. And so I'm picking up a few things here. It's almost like they're trying not to give up, but it's like too much. This person could have walked away from you because they gave up on this connection or um, something came to light here with the moon reversed. Virgo. I'm going to have to see what else this is about. It's almost like they're giving up on their resistance to something. Like rather than be resistant to this connection or something to do with this connection, they're actually giving in. We're going to have to see them further. Let's, let's see. What's this Ten of Wands about for Virgo? What's this Ten of Wands about for Virgo, please? What's this burden about? Higher font reversed. Taurus energy there. Broken commitment, broken contract. Rebelling against what's expected of them. What's this Ten of Wands about? Devil reverse, Capricorn energy. Your person's breaking free of a of expectations or of a commitment here that has been a burden for them. Can I get one more, please? This ten of wands, magician reverse. Maybe it hasn't been. Yeah, the wheel reverse. All major arcana here. Your person has not been able to manifest something in their life perhaps they've been in an unhealthy attachment and have broken free of that perhaps they're you know there's an attachment they're in a, a commitment or contract they're in that i feel has been weighing down on them and it's affecting this connection in some way and with the wheel reverse it's like the timing hasn't been right nothing seems to have been going your person's way here Let's get some more insight into how this person is thinking or feeling about you, Virgo. So tell me more about how this person thinks or feels about Virgo, please. Tell me more. Oops, it's way too many. Tell me more about how this person is thinking or feeling about Virgo. What are their secret thoughts or feelings about Virgo? Hyena. And the crow. Interesting. The crow is all about kind of someone who's very um, spiritual, uh, is able to tap into the past, present, and future. Again, I'm getting the sense that your person is making a connection between what happened in the past, how that led to the present, and how it's going to affect the future. Elk at the bottom with dolphin and stingray. 
you, Virgo, this person feels like you've changed their, their life in some way. You've affected their life deeply in some way. But I feel like they need a spine to do something. And with the L card, this is the King of Pentacles for me. Um, very similar energy. I feel like maybe your person's like in some sort of commitment, most likely. <clears throat> With hyena, this is someone that hides behind their humor. Uh, someone that uh, isn't very confident. It's almost like they, they've been hiding or suppressing how they feel about a situation that happened with you, Virgo. Let me get some oracles here. This is my new deck, the Secret Moon Oracle deck. This is just a sample. The deck is much larger. But I'm going to start using it until it's, you know, done and I'll let y'all know when it's available. <clears throat> Tell me more about this person. What do we need to know? What are their secret thoughts or feelings about Virgo? I feel trapped. Okay. What else? I am ready to take action. Oh, well, we'll see. We'll see what actions they'll take in a, in a second here. And then we got, I want to see you. So this person, you know, obviously they want to see you, but I feel like they want to see you after making some sort of a connection. I feel like this is the action they're going to take is move towards you in some way, Virgo, after all of this is happens. It could be happening right now. So let's see, what is this person's true intentions towards you? And what actions will they take? What are this person's true intentions towards Virgo Spirit? What are their true intentions towards Virgo Spirit? What are their true intentions? Towards Virgo, please. Your true intentions. Towards Virgo. We got Page of Cups reversed. Five of Wands reversed. Interesting. They want to overcome the conflict. Something's off here. It's like they want to like overcome the conflict or avoid drama, have some sort of truce. But with the Page of Cups reversed, it's like they're heartbroken or disappointed. Um, their dream has burst. Tell me more about this Page of Cups reverse, please. Why is the Page of Cups reversed? Six of Swords. Leaving a situation that's difficult towards something more stable, more calm, a transition. So your person's intention is to leave. They could be coming to see you. This could be the card where they're coming to see you. Five of Cups reversed again. Yeah, they want to recover what's been lost, overcome, you know, their whatever they're feeling regretful about, whatever they're disappointed in or wanting to, you know, it's like there's been a loss and they want to get it back. I get one more for the Page of Cups reverse, please. almost like they want to leave the drama and the conflict behind. But I don't know if this is with you. Six of Wands reversed. I feel like this person has all eyes on them. That's just what I immediately thought when I put this card down. And it, which is weird. That's not what really this card means. 
it's almost like they want to recover what wasn't successful here what didn't work out emperor at the bottom aries energy what's behind that justice definitely this person wants to take charge and bring things back into balance into order this person's taking charge of the situation they find themselves in is almost like they're thinking about their past, present, and future. And they're recognizing that they're trapped somewhere. And it's like they're ready to take action regarding this prison, which could be mental or it could be like a physical prison. Like maybe they're trapped in a situation like in a home where they can't leave or something like that. Why is the five of wands reverse? We got the Three of Swords reverse. Kind of felt like this. Why is the Five of Wands reverse? Six of Pentacles reverse. I get one more about this five of wands reverse. Seven of wands reversed again. Okay, so I have the seven of swords reversed at the bottom with the four of cups. Something's gonna come to light here. Um, I don't know if this is like in your life or in your person's life. Like if it's, this, if this is something that you're going to uncover or your person's going to uncover with you or with someone else. Um, but I feel like that's very similar to the moon reverse. Something's going to come to the surface here. Um, I feel like it's going to motivate someone to either give something up or like no longer resist with the Seven of Wands reverse. Three of Swords reverse. Some of you are definitely in a third party situation, especially because I have the I Feel Trapped card here. So th the third party could be another person, a family member, a friend. Uh, it could be fear finances, long distance. It's just anything that's interfering in this connection. For some reason, I feel like this third party energy has to do with um, people because I have the five of wands reversed here as well, which to me is like drama, fighting, too many people involved and someone just wanting that to be over. Like, you know, they just want it to be done. Now with the Six of Pentacles reversed, um, there's again, this feeling of like, there's not a balance. That's why your person's so focused on rebalancing the situation, bringing back order. So because things have been kind of out of whack for a while. Um, maybe your person can't give you something or isn't able to reciprocate how you feel about them at this time because they're so busy dealing with this third party energy. So what are their next actions going to be? What are their next actions going to be, Spirit? Towards Virgo or this connection? What is this person's next action going to be? What are their next actions going to be? What are their next actions? We have the High Priestess. Oh, again, that feeling of like hidden secrets, mystery, silence. Tell me more. What are their next actions going to be? Why is the High Priestess here? In terms of actions, I don't really see a lot of actions yet. Let's see when I clarify. Tell me about the High Priestess. Where's the High Priestess here?
Five of Swords reverse. Again, with this, like, no longer wanting to have conflict. Things didn't go your person's way. Empress. Growth manifestation. They're manifesting in secret. Something to do with what has already taken place here with the Five of Swords reversed. Yeah, and then I have the devil reversed again. So that's your person's person's um, next actions are more focused on feeling trapped and wanting to do something about that. I have temperance reversed at the bottom, Sagittarius energy. So they might need more time or there's more of a balance that needs to happen here. Maybe your person needs to um, find the, the right timing. Maybe they... Um, there's more patience that is needed here in order for this person to fully break free. What can you tell me about the Six of Cups reverse? Three of Cups reversed. Um, so yeah, the third party here, one of the people in this third party is from the past, which I think is you, Virgo. And King of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, I feel like your person is in a commitment of some sort. But I feel like they want out of that. The King of Pentacles reverse for me is not the best partner. Um, they're not able to really provide. They're very selfish um, and or or uh, not grounded, not stable. So it could be that your person is just not doing well in this partnership here. Tell me more about the Six of Cups reverse. King of Swords in Limbo. Can I get one more? So what I'm picking up there is like your person, um, yeah, the hangman, your person, I feel is still, um, their next actions are involved with this feeling stuck, right? Feeling trapped energy. Um, I feel like there might not be communication or, um, this person is not really gonna, it's like they're in the midst of breaking free of this, cutting what needs to be cut out with the King of Swords, like falling like this. Um, I don't know why I'm getting that message. That's the message I'm getting there. Maybe communication um, won't happen or it hasn't been happening, but I, I feel like your person doesn't want to communicate until this is done. Um, I have judgment at the bottom. This, this person is making a judgment call when it comes to this hangman energy. Again, judgment is about evaluating the past. You know, your person's connecting the dots here. Then, you know, by connecting the dots, I feel like it's allowing them to take action. You know, it's like connecting these dots is leading to some sort of realization. I have the moon reverse right behind that. 